You seem sad, Gunnar. I am. Sven was a good friend to me over the years. Oh no, Eivor. You've been away. Sorry to say. Sven passed away not two nights ago. No. Taking it hard, very hard. You ought to go and have a word with her. Anyhow, you probably... I would like to see what you have in stock. That one's pretty good. I can get you that one easy. My pieces are good, but that one's very good. Worthy of the gods. I do good work. I must be on my way now. Be well, my friend. What do you have today? I have to go. So long. May I see your store? Hmm. Yes, I 
can resell these. I'm practically giving it away. Then... I will see you. Don't be a stranger! And I will make you eat that wretched... Roland! Holger! Why all this shouting? When you see it, Roland? I could trade that hat. Eivor! Thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Holger robbed me, and I demand he be punished! Ha! Huh. Rob disappointed word? Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. From the beginning. Well now! There is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat. In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these dis- You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean... letting go- Please start again. Tell me- I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A filly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing? Oh, stealing, borrowing. My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holger stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holgir, and how rough. But when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush, slathered painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafur's tail to reach its former length. I understand. Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom to make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often, when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis' walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed- Rowan? As I was saying, this morning, in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate Brush. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but not to make a perfect brush. I needed the fine hairs of a... You clipped Alfgafur's tail to the rump! It was early. I did not wish to wait. Thank you, Holger. I believe I'm... I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Holger, Rowan is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail! Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly... But the horse was not for sale! My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe, and meet... And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Good. 
Then by Tyr's blessing, let this matter rest. Return to your homes in peace. Would you allow me to pay you with a vibrant painting? After all, in some ways you helped in its creation. Absolutely not. Silver is... Knut, what are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor! Who is we? Are they all right? No, they're hurt. Take me to them. Where are they? Not far. We need to hurry. What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. Which way now? This way. We're almost there. Come on, Eivor! Can't you run any quicker? Knut, you have to tell me what has happened. I can't. You won't understand. Even if I do, just, just trust me. What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. Lying is not a good way to get my attention. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh, that is not the sound of a dog. I... But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course, it's a kind of a dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we... There's no need. We must help her. She could be starving. Poor her. She's crying. We have to help. Her family probably misses her. A key to the front door. I must be cautious opening it. Table is set. He never made it home. At least his end came quickly. These skulls bear teeth marks. The wolf must have helped him take them down. Easy. Easy. Another kind look to you, I think. Wait, wait, easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf. Maybe her wife. But we do know it is time to get you three back to the settlement. Oh. Chin up, Knut. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone. You understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise. And you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. That is not quite how it works. Uh, more wolves! And not a new friend! Eivor! Stand back!
Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf. The wolfka. What? The wolfka. It. Oh, no, I don't like that at all. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? The Wolfka. It has an absurd sound, just like all. She's our best friend. Now we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did! And we got a new friend! Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Yes, the boring part. Well... Have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, befriend them at any cost. They are perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned? Just until we get home? I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now scamper off home and take your new friend with you. Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. That Holger, he is quite a character. I almost envy him. Let's not walk too far with that idea. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pled- Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. <laughs> Some interesting news. King Cheolvulv has sent Cheolbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Chilbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from- I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Svend passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. Yes, I'd heard. The poor man. I wish I could have spent more time with him before the end. I think we all wish that. Tovi most of all. I want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. Randri, are you well? 
You seem dis- I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. I cannot help you with your life just now, but... I can get you out of this room. I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about a lion. We could take a ride. To Grand Bridge or somewhere near- That sounds lovely. And too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Now, what was it you need? I want to see the Alliance map. I have ch- Ranvi, take a break. Let us make for Grand- Do you mean now? Right? Of course. You said you were tired of all this. I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Follow me. We won't take the longship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We will need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Granterbridge. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Uh, are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. It really is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pen. Hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the Summer Army retreated when Granterbridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to yeah. see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. Here we are. Welcome to Grand Bridge. We should make our way to the Longhouse. Ah, oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London, and a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here, too. Well, well. 
<laughs> well, that, it's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah. Good memory. Good to see you again. This is Randvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Randvi. Eivor seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Vodde. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have encamped nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. The bandits are camped on the river, he said, east of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Randvi. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through? I surprised even myself. Away from the table for a day, and already you are lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. 
If I did not know any better, I would say you're teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf-kissed Iron-Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. That's the one! Kill! Bandit camp. All right, stay close and do as I do. Brood and look sternly at the horizon? By all means. <laughs> Cast about this land, my friend. Feel great. You seem hard for a battle, so here we go. Oh shit! Shit! Faster! There. That's done. Now to deliver Magni his horse. was a thrill, Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink, to celebrate our victory. At home. Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse. And if your thirst remains, we'll look around.
Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside, waiting for you. Thank the gods she is safe. And thank you, Eivor. And your friend Randy, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Look at this! Oh, someone is thirsty! Are you determined to get drunk? What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right. Let us drink. Beautiful. Anymore and I'll drown. Ha! I am the Mead Queen, slayer of wolves and barrels. I told you I would drink you under the table. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll after just one more stop. Ah, oh, Randvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. All right. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am... T oh, it's show. Leaving already? Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy. Return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you for everything. No, no, <laughs> thank you. Safe travels. Yes, sir, I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Randvi, slayer of bandits and breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Sunivar described this tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. You and Soma. Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close, very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskona as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Radvi. If you must.
Look there. That must be the tower. Take the bridge. Just as beautiful as Suniva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. You climb well for one who folds maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. Look at this. <sighs> A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway, how I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but now I've watched you scale a tower in furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting, sailing. I was a wildling of the open air before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger, free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream, and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh, no, I am... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is, I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. Randvi, I do wish that I could indulge this feeling further, but that is not possible. Of course, yes. I was foolish to. Let this be a dream then, a moment that never happened but in our minds. I would not wish you to see me so weak as that. You need feel no shame. This stays between us. And at worst, we have had a beautiful day, as friends and kindred spirits. More than enough for me. I would like to stay here, if it is all the same to you. I would like that.
Andre? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. See you, old friend.
Day. Eivor. Randvi, why did you leave? We could have returned together. We could have, but I was... restless. A quiet, and you do snore a little. Like a wounded bear. <laughs> That's a lie. I had a wonderful time, Eivor. Thank you for your... And you for yours. Now, shall we get back to it? I want to see the Alliance map. I asked that I travel to London. What do you know of it? A wild city, one that Hafton Ragnarsson tried to claim for himself years ago. But it resists all attempts to be held. Hytham claims the city is overrun by a strange cult, the Order of the Ancients. He asked that I track them down and kill them. Doing so may help the honest people there, and earn us an ally in the process. In a city so chaotic, it is worth a try. Approach by the North Gate and start asking around. What of Oxenifertshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. I should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenfordshire, Sigurd will be pleased to see you. You remember what we spoke of, Randvi? Yes. The love I have for you is that of a friend. I am afraid I can offer nothing more. I understand. Thank you for your bluntness. You may trouble me all you like, my friend. The stories and songs of- That I can do. Ah, hey, my boy.
Run up the sail! Take the mask in here. Raise the mast. Can't raise the sail here. We can raise the sail in these More waters. Let's sail! Go. myself here.
an alehouse. This must be it. I want to talk to you. Oh, hey! Finish her! This shall I learn to bring in the house. too, brother. Much longer. God damn you! I'm gonna feed the words! Break up, Alan. not here. I'll ask around. I'm looking for two men, not locals, a Norse and an Arab. The fellas the soldiers came after. If I were you, friend, I'd keep mum about them. Soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with that. I'm not here to cause trouble. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to... Th then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother's soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's... Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you? I am asking a sim... Look, Dane. You start a scene or a scuffle. You seem to respect this man, Gidrich. If he was talking to my brother, it's because he wants what's best for this. Maybe you're a woman who also wants Xenophorchia to be free and to decide its own fate. A woman who'll stand up for her village, who won't be crushed. I hope I am. Such a woman would help me find Gidrich's friend. You're right, you are. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window there and scampered off towards the river. It's a good bet they hid in one of them thick. Sigurd and Basim headed south. 
They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. Wait! Stop! Alan was Sahalan Eivor. We could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolfkist. Why so unnerved, brother? It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with the Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Avon. Gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with the promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes, who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods! All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount a surprise strike. If Giedrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Sigurd, has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I heed Basim's wisdom, but he follows my lead, always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature, for he is wise and forthright, and he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible, it will shatter your mind to shards. Brother, our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the lords of Mercia, then all of England. But Basim has a deep insight. He's read wisdom in the lines of my face and heard the litany of my forefathers and... Well, there will be time enough for my saga later. <laughs>
I'm here a moment. Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex, begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex, and that poxy ass bastard Alfred. We won't have it. Lady, there's no need for slaughter. We all want peace for Xenofortshire. Can we find some agreement? You heathenish fork-tongued Dane. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd, of the hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms. Free my friend here, and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. Focus! Focus. What have they done to you? <laughs> what kind of mess did you get yourself into? On time, eh? I can still find this bastard now. I'll bless you. The Lord will see you. Meet your fate. Still watching to the bucks. Ah. Desperate to fight. You should have freed me. Giedrich, this is Aver, my stone armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Aver, not hope. She has her way. They'll be dead. Tanned your wounds, Giedrich. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to We're... talk. Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands, but he'll be dead with- Tell us where, and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your- Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda. Basim! Aver! To horse! <laughs> <laughs> 